Shh, hear that? The toilet's running. Let's take a look. Do you hear the toilet running now? I'm gonna show you how to fix two different types of toilets. Plus, I'm gonna show you an extra trick that's easily overlooked. First, just take off the lid, set it aside. Take a look in here. If your toilet doesn't look like this, be sure you stick around because I'm gonna show you another style of toilet in just a minute. First, you don't have to worry about putting your hands in here. Remember, this is fresh water. This is coming in from the same pipes that come into your kitchen faucet, your bathroom faucet. So there's water running here, and that's because this is stuck open. If you look down here, see this chain has gotten stuck. And so, real easy fix, pull it out. Now that's gonna stop it right now. There, hear how the sound stopped? Wasn't that easy? Now while I take a quick break, will you help me out by crushing the like button and hitting subscribe? Be sure you stick around because there's some more to learn. Now that you've stopped this, you might be tempted to give up there. But since the chain got stuck once, chances are it's going to get stuck again. See how it's hanging down so low. There's a couple things you can do. First, the easy thing that may work for a time is just adjusting the chain length. So figure out how to disconnect this and find, find a way to change the length in the chain. In this case, I'm just gonna hook it farther down. That'll shorten the chain. Okay, and then we'll re-hook this. And that's now shortened the chain, which will probably keep this thing from causing you problems for time. But if you stop there, you're gonna miss a problem and you're gonna have to fix it again. Take a look at the arm. This is where the real problem is. It's a little hard to see in the video, but this is starting to break. And because it's starting to break, this arm is hanging away. And when it hangs down, that's letting the chain catch. So we're gonna replace this arm, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But before I show you replacing the arm, let me show you how to fix it if you have a different setup inside of your toilet. Let's turn this back on here. And so the water continues to run, but if you lift the float valve up, it stops. So we're gonna see if we can figure out how to make the adjustment. All right, so the adjustment on this is right here at this screw. As we tighten that down, it's lowering the float. So the float will turn itself off, or turn the water off before it reaches the overflow point. So it's overflowing right here into the toilet. Okay, we'll turn the water back on and it stopped. Let's watch it flush. So the water's filling up. And we should hear it stop now. Perfect. Now back to this lever arm. It's really easy to replace. First you gotta pick up a new handle and arm. I'll include some links below. Those are affiliate links. If you choose to purchase through that, I really appreciate it. It sends a small commission my way. It costs you nothing more. It's a little way of saying thank you for me uh, for helping make this video and teach you. One thing that I recommend you look at, many of the options, We'll have a plastic piece right here. I'm going to replace mine with one that has a metal nut and threads uh, in the hopes that that keeps it from breaking as quickly. There's also these more expensive ones that have fancier uh, looking handles. Those still have plastic. They claim they guarantee them for five years. They have a, a longer warranty. Here's your new lever arm. Now one thing to be aware of, a little trick with these, they screw in reverse thread. So righty tighty like this doesn't work. 
so the way you might expect it to screw on isn't going to work. And that's just to help. Having it screw in reverse thread is just to keep the lever handle from coming loose over time as you turn the, turn the handle. So let's get the old one off that's starting to break. First I'm going to disconnect this chain. And then grabbing my channel locks here. Remember, reverse order. So I want to turn it this way naturally. That's not going to work. This is a trick that's easy to miss, but really easy once you know about it. So we just undo that and slide this thing out. There we go. And look at how this is breaking right there. See that? It's all cracked and warped. Now I'll take the new one. And we'll slide it in. Thread on. Screw it in reverse order. Okay. You might need to bend the arm a little bit here. We'll get this tight and make sure it's not going to catch, and then we can decide. Tighten this down. Don't over tighten it. It'll hook the chain onto the lever arm here. Getting this lever arm to be adjusted right can take a little bit of finagling. So here's what I'm doing. You want to make sure that the lever arm is going to pull up the chain enough to actually lift the flap. I'm loosening the nut to change the position of the handle and lever arm. In my case, I needed to hold the handle down with the lever arm sticking up before tightening. Then when I release the handle, it's sitting horizontal and correctly positioned inside the toilet. Okay, now that's, that's sitting a lot better. Okay, now that my handle is sitting more horizontal, I'll hook my chain back up. You want the chain fairly, fairly tight. You can have a little bit of play in it. There's multiple holes here that you can loop it into. I'm going to start with the highest up one, like that. Give it a try. There we go. Worked just great. The chain didn't get sucked in at the bottom. You know, while you're in here, if you need to adjust the volume of water, you can turn that screw. And it'll change where this float is. And as that float changes position, it lets more water in or less water. And before you're done, you want to make sure this chain is tightened up. It's a little too loose here. It's kind of hard to get my phone down to see that, but there's a lot of play in it. So I'm going to go back and tighten that up quite a bit. I'm just going to pull this whole chain off. Now that I've pulled this off, I'm just going to take it down a few and try it. Oh, that's too short. Maybe one more. Okay, you see the chain can still move around just a little bit. It's not too tight. As we pull it to flush. It works just great. Now two final things. First, if you found this video helpful and you want to say thank you, the easiest thing you can do is hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. That will really help out my channel by letting YouTube know that I'm producing helpful content. Now second, if you look really closely in this clip, there's something that's not the way it should be. You can look back earlier in the video and compare to this part 
figure out what it is. If you find it, leave a comment down below. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's get back to business.